In this video, I will show you how to fix your account on Anki and how you can practice your vocabulary much more effectively. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is that you have to head to uh, Anki website because you need to set up an account on their website to be able to use the application. So please go to ankiweb.net and then enter it will take you here so the first thing very if you have an account you can log in uh i i suspect that uh, many people who are watching this video uh many people who are our students as well so they are they don't have uh, the account yet so they have to sign up here so click on the blue button here you have an example here so put down your uh your email address i'm gonna use our email address Ufema at ufema.sk wants your email again, so ufema at ufema.sk. Of course, so you, you put your email here into these two fields, and then you have to put in a password. So the password can be whatever. Um, now I'm going to put some password here, so like this and you will sign up for for the account yeah uh the screen will come up with terms and conditions and uh that you gotta be of a certain age and about privacy and everything i'm just going to scroll down tick off this one i have read the terms and conditions and i agree to be bound by them and it sounds serious and then click on this button here continue the system then will send you a verification or confirmation email, so you have to head to your to your email client or log into your Gmail if if you put in a Gmail uh, address previously. So I'm gonna wait for my email to arrive. So far, I haven't received anything, so I kind of have to wait here. Yeah, here it is. So I got this uh, verification email. I click on that. And all you have to do to verify your email is to click on the link here. So that's what I'm going to do. Click on the link. The email will be verified and you are good to go. So you can just continue with your with your installation process. So it's loading a little bit longer for some reason. Okay, email verified. Thank you. Your email address has been verified and your account is now fully active. Okay, now, once you've verified your email, you have to install uh, the application, the, the, the software on your on your uh, PC. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it on a, on a Windows machine, but you can do it as well on Android, I believe. it's a, On Android, it's a, it will be a little bit different, but not very, very different. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to use this uh, Windows 10 machine. So what I want to do now is I want to install the application first. So I don't know really where. Maybe I can click on Anki Web here. I start with a computer version. So yeah, uh, click on the computer version. It should take me to to their download page. Just going to wait for a moment. I don't know what's wrong with my internet. It's terrible. Terribly slow okay here we are so we want the latest version we want 2.1 21 standard uh, as of today it's 2020 march so i'm gonna download this download anki for 64 uh, bit windows 7 8 10 yeah that's me so it has downloaded here so i'm gonna install it now so click on the download i have it right here so i just click on it it should launch now. Scanning for viruses. Okay. And the installation will initialize. So I'll just install it. Just wait till it's done. It has unpacked. 
Now it's installing some amp layer. I don't know what that is really. I'm just reading what's what's on the screen basically. I know, just trying to kill the time. That's it. Completed, it says close. Alrighty, so now we have our application installed. It's right here. Um, let's launch it. And as you can see, uh, we have uh, only one deck here. Actually, uh, it's only default, but as you can see, there are no cards in this deck yet. So what we are supposed to do now is first thing we need to log into our account. For that, click on the, the sync link here and it will ask for your uh, email uh, address and your password. This email address is the email address you used before. So just put it in. Uh, in my case, it was euphema at euphema.sk and I'll put in my password as well and you will be logged in of course it will uh, come up with this uh, this um, dialog window and it will ask like a local collection has no cards download from Anki web of course there are no cards on our web yet so you can just go ahead and download it uh, nothing will be downloaded anyway uh, but go for it and yeah it's still it's still it's still empty so yeah, uh, so now we are logged in. What we have to do now is that we need to import uh, some vocabulary here, some words. In this case, uh, for our students, especially for students of our uh, of our language studio, uh, we will uh, import the cards from a OneDrive or OneNote um, file that each of our students they have uh, these files. There is uh, it contains vocabulary from our classes. It's very, very easy. I mean, uh, you should see a table like this, um, this one. So what you have to do is you have to highlight the whole content of a table. Uh, you have to select all the items here. You have two options. You have two uh, possibilities how to do it. The first one is that you click Control A, one, two, three, four times. So everything will be selected. And then you only Control C, you copy it and you open a blank notepad file and you paste it over into it. So control V now. And what happened here is that we have, uh, in this case, a Slovak translation alternative. Then we have English translation alternative. And between these alternatives, we have a tab symbol. And for Anki, this tab means that um, this is where this separating section is located. So this is where the translations uh, are separated. Uh, now go ahead and save it. I will save it as test one and save it on desktop. So, you know, I can easily find it in as save it. And then go to Anki to file and import and what we'll be importing is our uh, text file uh, test one in this case it's a text separated by tabs that's what we have test one open yeah uh, type is basic deck is default we have no other decks here so we're gonna stick with this one uh, fields are separated by tab okay that's us go ahead and import four notes edit yeah these four notes here zero nodes updated and zero nodes unchanged we close it and now we can see that we have this default deck here and this, this deck now contains four cards the four cards we uh, we uh, imported before okay that's good uh click on that and you're good to go you can start studying that's it that's uh, all you all you have to do or all you had to do now so you just study now, you show answer, and if you knew the answer, you either press like again or good or easy. And the logarithm uh, uh, like in this in the software will take care of everything else. Now, you know, again, show answer. Okay, I knew this one, so good. Yeah, this is gonna be deep, all right, so it's easy. Uh, this is gonna be, I'm good at English, okay, it's gonna be easy, um, I'm interested in politics, okay, let's say I didn't know it very well, so I'm gonna go with good here, okay, this is gonna be, oh, what can this be, uh, you don't know, let's say, so you're gonna, you're gonna go with again, you know, and like this, 
Yeah, now we know it. Yes, it's gonna be easy. Shallow, easy, and that's it for now. So it will come up with uh, this deck. Congratulations, you have finished this deck for now. That's pretty much it. So this is how you do it. Every single time you have more vocabulary here, all it takes is just to um, copy it and just paste it here and then import it. So it's as easy as that. Of course, you can create your own uh, cards. It's no problem with that as well. Uh, you can do it uh, right in the software, right in, the, right in the application. You don't have to always go through the uh, through the uh, text file, this notepad file. But it's but it's nice. It's advis advisable because uh, at least your whole vocabulary will be will be in this in this file. You know, so every single time you will find it there every single time it will be here. So um, it's very easy. You can create word like uh, this and then tab and car. You know, it's, it's as easy as that. And then you save it. And then again, you can import it into your, into your Anki and you will see that only one node was added, uh, zero nodes updated and uh, four nodes unchanged. These four nodes, uh, were not changed because there are duplicates. So only the new words will be imported. Every single time you add some new words into this notepad, a notepad file, only the, only the new words will be imported and on the, the, the old uh, items or the old words will be unchanged. Okay, so this is, this is very nice. You can, but you can, as I said, you can also add some new cards right here. Now, uh, why it's good to add some new cards uh, right here in the application is that you can uh, put here, for example, pictures as well, which is really brilliant. Or you can highlight stuff, uh, you can underline, you can bold face them, you can you can just uh, do many, many things here. Uh, add some uh, sound, something what is really impossible when you when you import from a notepad. Yes, we have to bear this in mind. If you import from this notepad file, there is no chance for you to uh, to import uh, pictures, of course, or some audio. It's only text things. So text and text. You can't really uh, import pictures or something like that. So that's why that's the advantage of this application because you can create like uh, more varied cards here. Uh, but I think I'll stick with with text in this case. Um, sometimes students tell me like, okay, but uh, it only tests us like only a couple of words per day. We want to increase the amount of words. We want to be tested every single day. That's a very, very easy thing. You click here and you have options and you can increase the number of cards. So for example, from 20 a day to 30 a day, if you have more cards, you know, like maybe when you have like 500 cards here, so 20 words will not be enough for you. So you have to increase the amount of words that you want to be tested every every day so that's easy as i said i will show you once again options here and then then you increase the amount of cards that you want to be uh be learned every every day you go okay and now you've increased from 20 to 30 words per day so now i think we've covered everything about about anki of course the basics uh, the Enki has so many other possibilities and so many options, uh, but you have to explore them yourself or search online. This was only for our uh, students or for other people who are interested in um, increasing the efficiency of uh, their vocabulary learning. Uh, how to import the um, notes we have in our One OneNote files into the Anki software for learning vocabulary. So I hope it was helpful for you guys and I hope that you'll be able to do it. If not, so drop me a line. I'll be doing my best to help you. And yep, see you next time. Bye-bye.